Hey guys, quick question, are you using Instagram Reels? Because if not, you may be missing out on a ton of new ways to engage with and even increase your followers on Instagram. Sephora attracted 28,000 views with this little reel. And incredibly, Louis Vuitton got 408,000 likes with this reel. So I think it's fairly safe to say that Instagram Reels are really hot at the minute. So in today's video, I'm going to show you three different ways to create Instagram Reels in Canva using Canva's fantastic new templates. I'll show you how to add music, use Canva stickers and eye-catching animations to really snag interest on Instagram. And finally, I'll walk you through that all important step you need to take before uploading your reels to Instagram. So if you're ready, let's dive in. Right, so here I am back on my Canva desktop and I'm going to show you how to get started. First of all, I'm going to use the search bar here to look for my Instagram reel templates. So I'm just going to pop my cursor in there and I'm going to type Instagram whoops, reel, reels. So I'm just gonna click on the reels video just for the minute. And you can see that Canva brings up 108 templates and they're all absolutely beautiful and very different. You have some fun fitness ones here. You have some magazine style templates here. All ready for Halloween, you have some Halloween templates. So scroll down and see what catches your eye. If you like the look of a template before actually opening it up onto your desktop, you can actually hover your mouse over these three little dots and the turquoise box here and click on that and it will allow you to preview this template. And underneath the actual template, you can see some hashtags, which you can click on actually to really narrow down your search. Canva will also give you the color palette from the photograph that they're sharing, which is really handy if you want to create further assets and stick to the color template. I'm gonna close that one down for the minute. I'm not gonna use any of the templates. I'm gonna start from scratch by clicking on this button here. And this is gonna be the first of the three template ideas I want to share with you. I had a bit of fun earlier on and I created a bit of a spoof video based on the Sephora makeup video that I showed you earlier. And this You can use multiple pages and a mixture of videos and graphics. Canva 
Canva has made it really easy for you to view each page by adding thumbnail images of each page at the bottom. To view a new page, just click on the thumbnail. We've got Black Friday coming up soon, so here is another template. That use and then there are a further five for Canva Pro account holders. You can add the same animation to all pages by clicking on the animation that you want and making sure that the apply to all pages box is ticked. I think that's brilliant. Of course you don't need to use videos at all in your Instagram Reel template. You can create an Instagram Reel out of static images and graphics, but what you can do is you can add a little movement and a little bit more interest to your template by perhaps adding some stickers. and then adding some animations. It's really up to you how you want to create your Instagram Reels. And now for that all important step I was talking about at the start of this tutorial. Before downloading your finished template, what you need to bear in mind is that Instagram Reels are only 30 seconds in duration. They used to be just 15 seconds, but that's now been pushed up to 30 seconds. So you need to make sure that your finished template only lasts for 30 seconds and no more. And the way you can check that out is to go to the top right hand corner of your Canva template and you'll see this little play button here with a number next to it and the number next to it indicates how long my template is in seconds when it plays. Now you can see here that this template is 42 seconds in duration and that's way too long for an Instagram reel so I'm going to have to cut down the timing and I can do that in several ways. I can either remove a page that's still 37 seconds. So another way I can cut down the duration of this template is to change the duration of the animations. Now I made a video about this not so long ago. I will leave the link in the resources section below. So to adjust the speed of my animated pages, all I need to do is click on the page I want to adjust, go to the top left hand corner of my Canva toolbar and you can see this little stopwatch and a figure next to it and the figure next to it is telling me that this particular page will last for six seconds. I'm going to adjust that timing by clicking on the icon and I think I'm going to reduce the six seconds to three. So I just type in three into this little box here, hit return and you can see that's changed to three seconds. And actually I'm going to do the same for the next few pages. And that's perfect because now I can see that when I download this entire template, it will last for 24 seconds. And that's perfect for an Instagram Reel. So I can go ahead now and download it as an MP4 video file. Let me just check my other Black Friday template. Yep, that's a little bit too long. That's gonna take 33.5 seconds to play. So I just need to adjust the timing a little bit. And the quickest way for me to do it is clip the video snippets within my template. And to do that, I'm just gonna click on the video once to select it. 
I'll go up to the top left hand corner of my toolbar and I can see a little pair of scissors and a figure next to it and that's telling me how long my video snippet is 6.4 seconds so I'm going to click on the icon grab a hold of one of these end bars with my cursor and drag the end bar along the timeline until I reduce it in time slightly. So I've just reduced that now to five seconds. I'm happy with that, so I'm just gonna click on. We'll see you very soon. Bye for now.